Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a really cool three horse bumper pull. This is a used inventory unit. It is available right now. This is a 2019 Hart three horse bumper pull with tons of upgrades on this trailer. So we'll start by walking you through it. Up here at the front tack room of this trailer, we do have your slide out step, typical kind of on Hart trailer. It's really nice and easy to get up and out of this tack room, lifting heavy stuff in and out without having to make that big step. On your entry door, it is a sliding type window. I like having at least one sliding type window on a trailer just because you can air out your front tack room if you get a bunch of nasty stuff in here. Down though, we do have your little brush tray again, storing sprays, brushes, hoof picks, anything like that. They have a nice easy access to that if you're tying out on this side of the trailer. You're not having to go in and out of your tack room to get those essentials. In the tack room, cool thing I like about it is we do have a two-way roof vent on this trailer. It is typical hand crank, you know, up and down. Again, air and out in here is going to be really easy with this setup in this trailer. So it's really cool that's thrown on this front tack room. We do have a corner water tank over here behind me. That is a 25 gallon corner water tank. Again, being able to take water with you while you're traveling is really essential in that horse trailer world. The thing I want to point out also in front of that water tank, you'll see a little metal lip here. It'll also have a rubber catch up here in the ceiling. And what that is for is there is a folding rear tack on this trailer. But if you wanted to collapse that tack down and take your saddle racks and your blanket bars out of that back tack, you can easily move them to that front tack and kind of have a more wide open area. Here on our partition wall, we do have a set of bridle hooks up front. Again, if you are running this as kind of a tack room, you have your bridles here, your saddles there, or if you're running it as a folding rear tack, it just gives you a nice place to be able to hang some shirts, coats, and slickers, stuff like that. And one of the cool features that you don't normally see on a trailer is this trailer is going to be set up with drop down windows on both your head side and your hip side. So we do have these big square frame drop downs on your hip side, really giving you guys the ability to maximize that airflow while you're traveling. These can run while they're down. They do have a latch mechanism that holds them shut while you're traveling. And down low, this is two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles on this trailer. With these really nice uh, chrome and black accented wheels, it really makes this trailer really pop out. So it's a really cool, really set up nicely trailer. In between all three of your drops, you will have D-ring tie-outs on this trailer. So again, you're going to have ample places to tie out on this trailer, both this side and that other side. Moving around to your load side of this trailer, again, it's going to give you a nice view of that folding rear tack I talked about up front. You'll have your three adjustable saddle racks here, your two adjustable blanket bars. We can always order more for you as well. If you wanted more saddle racks, more blanket bars, that's something we can do for you guys really easily. And then again, on your door of that tack room, we have more bridle hooks. If you are using this as your main tack room, we wanted to give you guys plenty of options to do so. But if you did want to run this, move this up front, this wall will completely fold over, give you guys maybe more stall space for that rear horse, or if you guys want to load like ATVs, UTVs, and they'll fit in here. This is a 7.6 wide trailer, so it is extra wide on the trailer. It is also 7.4 tall, so you're getting that extra wide, extra tall setup on this trailer as well. So this trailer is loaded out with tons of options. Inside your stall area of this trailer, it is an insulated roof that comes standard on all heart trailers. You will be lined and insulated on your hip wall as well of this trailer in between all your windows. It is lined, insulated, kick matted, four foot up all the way around this trailer as well. For your divider setups, they are partial type dividers in this trailer. They are padded as well. It's a really cool latch mechanism Hart uses. It's really easy to use. Um, it is a metal on plastic latch. So it will help that vibration stay down while you're traveling. It's also going to help the wear on that latch a lot better. It's not metal on metal, so it's not grinding and wearing down. Metal on plastic is going to last you guys a lot longer than metal on metal would. Up here in your stall number one, it is an escape doored stall. You will have padding on your wall as well. But again, you can use this for a storage area. We can put a stud divider wall on the bottom of this divider if that's something you guys wanted to do. It's really nice, especially on a bumper pull, to be able to have that escape door if you are only hauling two horses. Each one of your three stalls is going to be set up with a two-way roof vent, so you can set them up to either pull air in, pull air out. It's really simple to use and really effective to keep that clean, cool air flowing over the backs of your horses. We do have LED lighting situated in this trailer. There was an LED light I forgot to show you guys up in that front tack, but here on your hip wall you will have an LED light or two LED lights running down this wall. You can easily switch them on from the rear of the trailer, give you enough light to be able to see what you're doing, and give your horses enough light to be able to see what they're doing You know, early mornings and late nights thing I wanted to point out is because this is an extra wide trailer it does have a manger setup so easy to feed your horses grain your horses whatever it may be you're not having to worry about hauling hay bags with you 
Um, you will have D-rings to tie out your horses up top of this manger. It's really cool when you go extra wide, we get to do some features like that. They'll also give you some outside storage on this trailer as well, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. Something stupid simple that I like that they do is we do have a head guard up here. So if you have a horse that likes to throw his head up when he comes out of the trailer, it is about a four inch thick cushion right there. So he's not gonna bang his head on the actual metal of this trailer to keep, just keep you and your horses safe. Before we start walking around to the other side, we do have an LED spotlight out here out back. Again, giving you enough light that if you're pulling saddles out of this tack room or you just wanna have a little more light while you're loading, maybe you wanna have a reverse light if you're backing into a dark spot, you can easily click those on, have enough light out here to see what you're doing. Moving down the head side of this trailer, it gives us a really good view of that hay rack up top. Again, this trailer is loaded out with options. You're gonna have that hay rack up top, your ladder for easy access to that hay rack, being able to carry as much feed with you as you want while you're traveling is really cool on this trailer. This does give you a really good view of their big square frame drops again. They're gonna be the same drop windows I showed you guys on the hip side with the exception of these are jail bars so your horses aren't sticking their heads out and kind of help keep some of that road to be debris flowing and hitting your horses. But they're super easy to use. It's a three type window. So you'll have your sliding pipe in the middle, your big drop on the outside. And then again, you can drop these jail bars as well if you wanted to easily feed or check on your horses in those mangers in there. The cool thing about these trailers for some reason, I really love Hart's manger doors. They run on a gas piston. They're gonna hold themselves up. It's gonna give you guys plenty of storage in there. You're not having to fight a door because that piston is holding that door up and out of the way. I really like Hart's manger doors. They're a really slick concept and they work really well. So you guys are gonna have that extra storage under those feed bunks in there. And again, these are really cool manger doors. Here is a better look at that escape door we showed you guys from the inside. So again, if you're only hauling two horses in your back over those axles, it's really easy to store stuff in this front stall. You're gonna have really easy access to it. You're not having to offload horses to get to whatever you're storing in this front stall. And again, I know it's not set up with the stud divider in it right now, but we can easily do a metal partition that hangs down, a rubber partition, whatever fits your guys' style the best. And I wanted to show you guys not typical on a lot of horse trailers. If you do an escape door on a horse trailer, normally you're gonna get just a sliding type. On this heart, you are gonna get a drop similar to the rest of the drops on this trailer. It's just a little bit smaller of a drop to fit in between that door frame, but you still get your sliding type in the middle, your big drop, and then your jail bars as well. So if you are running a hay bag in this front stall, it's really easy again to drop that, get access to that hay bag, feed your horses, check on your horses, whatever you need to do while you're traveling. Moving around to the front side of this trailer, something I want to point out is there is some nose damage on this trailer. So again, it's not a perfect used trailer. Um, it has been discounted to reflect that price. So if you're okay with maybe a little bit of a dinged up trailer, this is a heck of a trailer with a lot of options at a steal of a price. Up front, we do have your two and five sixteenths ball, your safety chains, your breakaway brakes, and your seven pin connector. It is just a standard manual hand crank jack. We can go ahead and throw an electric jack on there if that's something you guys wanted, or even a hydraulic jack. Um, we can do that to any trailers we have here on the lot. So if you're thinking there's a little bit of upgrade you guys wanna do, we can always do that after the fact. I wanna point out all your safety features on this trailer have been ran through. So your brakes have been checked, your bearings have been packed, it's got a fresh alignment, your breakaway battery has been serviced. Everything on this trailer has been ran through and will be in good working condition when you guys purchase it from us. But if you are interested in this trailer, and you want to reference the stock number, you can go ahead and call in and we can chat about this trailer a little bit. The stock number is 5U-221-635. Again, it's a 2019 Hart, three horse bumper pull. It's got plenty of options on it, extra wide, extra tall. It's a really clean trailer. So again, if you are okay with maybe getting a trailer with some cosmetic damage, you're gonna get this trailer at a really great price with a lot of options. If you want to talk about this trailer, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.